before, but what is it like okay. to see it in such, a, you put it all together and see the way that black people through time have been treated. And there was a, a quote by James Baldwin, who was a friend yeah. of Medgar's, a famous quote from 1961, where he said, to be a Negro in this country and to be relatively conscious is to be in a state of rage almost all of the time. Yeah. And has it changed that much? I mean, if you're aware and you see injustice and you wonder how does it continue and yeah. it's directed against the black community or the double standard where white people in power, like right. Donald Trump, are treated vastly different yeah. than everyone else. I mean, to be a, a, a black person, person in you know 2024 in America is to be in a state of complete perplexed confusion about what is wrong with a country that hates your history to this day can't admit even the basics of what was done to your ancestors can't accept any responsibility for the lack that has carried through the entirety of the existence of you in this country and think 60 years of relative freedom is enough now blacks please get out of harvard now blacks you can't get any more loans you can't even give each other loans of twenty thousand dollars unless you give white men who get 99 percent of funding for their businesses we want a hundred and to find out that literally barack obama's two terms in pre as president are your reparations and june 18th which you already celebrated anyway is your reparations and yet you built this country you literally physically built this country. And yet the attitude toward you from a lot of your peers and your fellow citizens is just shut up and be grateful. And it's, it's, it's infuriating. And that is why James Baldwin is my favorite writer. He he's is great. my, the bet to me, the bet greatest writer in American history, but he's speaking a truth that still exists and he's been long gone, but it's still true. I, I know you know the history, so, uh, you know, she kind of, you know, it, she was trending on this on, uh, you know, social media, pers personally on Instagram, and also, I believe, on Twitter and everything. And, you know, like I said, she's a uh, host on uh, MSNBC and everything. And, you know, she just, you know, telling, you know, what she sees in the life of, you know, as a black American, how, you know, uh, how, how people like we're being treated and everything, you know, you know, for, for a long, long time and everything. Um, and like I said, like I said, it's still Black History Month, so you know why not? You know, keep talking about it and everything. Uh, so, uh, how can you can we still hear you or no? Let me see, is Mike still work? I don't think so. No. You don't think so? Still working? No. Okay. No. Nope. No, no, no. Okay. So, like I said, um, I can't used to continue the justice situation and everything. All right, so um, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So I'm gonna pass it to you, Ronnie. Uh, what the, uh, what of George Reed was saying, you know, about you know racial discrimination as you know in this country, as you know, as you know, as uh, that's just uh, black Americans, but black people in general and everything. Uh, do you feel like what she, where she was coming from about you know the history we, we suffer here in America? Yeah, um, like you stated, Jordan, that this is Black History Month. Um, so a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of, um, pretty much right now in this whole month and this whole month and this entire year, people going to be focused on like the history of black people. So, uh, I don't, oh, shout out to Gore. What's going on, Gore? Yeah, we had a good weekend. I hope your weekend was doing well. Shout out to the lovely Miss Neil also in the chat. Welcome, welcome. You always love the presence of a woman. So the, the more women, the better. No, but what she was saying, I agree with her and I also disagree with her at the same time. So. I also agree with her and also disagree with her at the same time because at the same time we live in a we live in a country where a, a black people are allowed to build and not only that but also allowed to prosper because when you go to any other we go to any other place shout out to you muhammad welcome to the chat if you go to any other places a lot of black people is, um are not striving the way they strive in the united states now don't get me wrong have black history been tempered with yes of course a lot of stuff in black history has been deleted. You can't find certain information anymore because it's been hidden. Unless you really deep dive and try to find, okay, uh, what happened in certain in, in certain times, like in the 1960s, 50s, and also 40s. So if you're like a historian, you will also go and find yourself, okay, let me see what really happened in American history. But majority of the time, um, uh, when it comes to the aspect of black people and the aspect of um, reparation, uh, that is also the ongoing top. Uh, that right there is also the ongoing topic because 
black people still don't have reparation to this day where you have other culture of people who does have reparation, you know, the Jewish culture, the Mexicans, the, the Indians, the list could go on and on and on. That was a, that was how I agree with her and also disagree with her at the same time. But I only disagree with her when it comes to the aspect of black people striving in America, because I think black people are striving in America. Today, you have more wealthy black people than you had back then in the, in the 1960s. It's a fact. You have, um, now, don't get me wrong, even though in the 1960s, you have a lot of, a lot of black um, a lot of black businesses, it because the simple fact is there was no um, integration. Now we have integration, of course, you're going to have less black businesses because now black people don't like to spend their own dollars within their own community. So is that is that actually an American issue or that's a black issue that we're not coming together and spending our dollars in, uh, in a certain establishment? So that would, say, that would say I agree with her and some of her talking points, but then that's why I, say I also disagree with her on certain target points that she also stated. Uh, Stephanie disagrees, but Stephanie, you gonna feel free to come on the panel and talk about it too, because I know Stephanie is one of your friends, Jordan. So it would be dope to hear her point of view on it. But go ahead, um, Jordan. All right, I kind of know how she, I know, I, I know how, how her thinking is, so I kind of know if she comes on, I know what, she, what she's gonna say. Uh, personally for me with Joy Reid, um, you know, you know, I, I agree with you 100%. You know, I, I, I mean, I can't be, I can't be mad at that. Um, you know, you just look at the situation with the migrants and situation, you know, you got migrants coming to the United States of America, especially in New York City, you know, even though they're illegally, they can, you know, Adam, um, the, the Democrat, the, the mayor of New York City is, 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 is signing, signing a deal to give these uh, immigrants, you know, 50, $53 million, you know, for uh, food and shelter and all that type of stuff. And they're illegal, you know. For us and everything, you know, as as Black Americans, you know, we we you know we try to give a reparation, you know, we try to, you know, see what the Democrats can do for us, but they think it's nothing. Or you look at Republicans, you know, they see what they can do for us, it's absolutely nothing. And the thing is about it is like, you know, I I'll, I'll just say this too. I just I just figure like, you know, I, I believe, you know, especially in our generation, Generation Zs and Millennials, you know, I feel like, you know. You know, we you know learning our history and really, really getting being more be uh, getting more on code and everything. I really feel like you know we're looking at you know you know when elections coming up, not just you know you know for the, you know the uh, the election, but also the government and also the, the the I mean the state and also the city of you know you know if you're gonna vote for somebody Democrat, um, um, Republican or Independent, you know. What are you gonna do for black people? You know, what are you gonna do for black people? I'll just give you another thing, what happened in, um, here in California. So there was a, uh, remember last year we talked about the rep reparation packages and everything? Now, you know, I, I got, I, I'm gonna pull it up real quick. Uh, they did a reparation package here in California, which I believe is just really, really shitty. It's really, really shitty. So it's uh, because it's, uh, I got, I gotta pull up the package and everything. I'm, I'm gonna pull it up. So, um, so they did this, uh, I talked about this like three weeks ago. And the thing is about it, about this package, they, they was talking about um, um, how to, uh, no, give me, give me a second. Let me look it up real quick. Let me, let me pull it up. No, of course. Let me pull it up. Okay. And hey, shout out to Jesse Miao. Welcome back, big, big dog. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, Joda heard him. Great to see you, big dog. Great to see you back in the building. And of course, the lovely sugar bomb is in the building. Uh, sugar, don't do that. I like shiesty bomb. Shiesty, you shiesty, you get all the praise and all the glory. Sugar, you you just say it's just sugar. <laughs> it's no, it's no, it's no. But just me, just just say me out. You've been gone. And also, the lovely black beauty is in the building. Shout out to you guys, Jordan. Are you ready? Give me one second. Keep going. Keep going. So yeah. So oh, we don't vote independent. It's a way it's a waste of a vote. You really think so, Jesse? Me? I don't think it's a waste of a vote. Hey, sugar, don't tell me to don't tell me to be quiet. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be quiet. If Shaisi's here, I, then I'll be quiet. If Shaisi's not here, I'm gonna be all in your face. Because because <laughs> I'm <laughs> all right, right, Gord? Sugar's back. Sugar been <laughs> gone for like God knows how long. And they all say she's back today. But I know she's probably enjoying her President's Day. Not only that, I know she's getting ready for spring break. So a lot of people are getting ready for spring break. So 
It's gonna be it's gonna be dope. <laughs> no, but but no, but Jordan, you was right about the um uh, about that reparation in California. That that reparation in California, I knew that job was gonna be trash because your governor, he's not really that good of a governor. So no, but the, the thing is, is like we was talking about like doing some type of cash payments, but you know it went when, it, when we talked about that. You know he backed it down. It's like oh no no, it's because it's gonna talk talk more days than anything. But instead of, of of doing that, you know, it was just more of um, expunging, you know, criminal criminal records and everything. Um, you know, um, oh, I can't find it. I'll just say, okay, I'll, I'll find it later. But it was just just a bunch of BS. I see, it was just, just just a bunch of BS stuff. We're not, we don't, we don't even care about and everything. But um, yeah, going back to the to the to the Joy Reid. Oh, Joy Reid, she's a host of M MS uh, NBC, you know, and you know she was she was just talking about you know how she's you know outrageous about how black people are being treated, and um, also going going off on Biden as well. Yeah, go 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 back to the go back to the topic. I'll I'll see if I can find a find a lady before I go. But yeah, I just you know I just feel like you know you know in this country it's like you know we're we're like we're we're at the lowest lows. You know we are probably the last. Um, race that we, that we think about to do this um to you know to get what we need to get and everything but you know i just feel like you know we just got to keep for us as black americans you just got to keep going be you know be um continue to um i'm gonna have to be strong because continue to be um i'm sorry i'm trying to find the words uh Yeah, for for black people, we just need you know. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. We just need to. Um, we, we just gotta keep on continuing to stick together and really, you know, find you know when we vote for these laws that we look at, you know, that we get something for black people because you know, all, because we we hear in the you know the year of the election when you know, you know, especially the Democrats they might put out some of that we're gonna get black people with this. We might be it might be some some crumbs, crumbs and stuff. And then, like you know, Donald Trump, he'll say he'll do something for black people. He'll be talking Trump and stuff as well. But the thing is, it's like we just really got to stick together and, and really, you know, uh, got to you know keep talking to keep speaking to these you know politicians. Like you know, what are you gonna do for black people? Because we just can't. We, can, we gotta stop taking you know anything. You know, if they're not if, if they're not gonna you know do anything for us, you know, we're not gonna vote for you guys. And you know, I'm curious if you in the state. If you're in the city, or you, you know, if you're in the, if you're in the White House, you know, we just got to stick on that. I ain't gonna lie, Jordan. Um, Sugar said something that I kind of agree with. She said, "I don't see the racism that these people be, is talking about." I kind of agree with her too because I keep seeing right now, like right, especially in my job, I keep seeing black women getting opportunity becoming in management establishment. They get management jobs.